Hello, uh, in the last tutorial, in the last part of this uh, grappling hook tutorial, uh, we worked on that portion. So in which uh, our uh, grappling hook cable moves, moves from the origin point to the impact point. And if I show you more clearly that it's moving from origin point to that point and we can also uh, control that flexibility and also the cable is not increasing further from that point and we can limits the movement also and so if you haven't seen the previous tutorial uh, I have put a link in the description please first follow that and then uh, watch this tutorial to get the basic understanding and I have explained why we uh, convert these and uh, use that uh, all the logic here why we use clamps here I have uh, I have told everything in detail in the previous now in this tutorial our focus is to move uh, our character from this position to that uh, position and while moving from this position to that position the cable will start to uh, hide or decrease in its size so first of all, let's uh, disconnect it. So first let's uh, disconnect it because now our focus is to move our character from the origin point to the end point. And then we will take care of the cable movement once again. So now, uh, our, uh, now we have to move character from origin to end point. We have to use a timeline here timeline grappling hook and there we will use a lerp float here sorry uh, we are used to you we are going to get lerp vectors which uh, we are going to move from our origin point uh, which is our get actor location and the end point will be our impact point on the wall where our line trace or cable end hits and as you know the lerp moves uh, from that position to this position based on the value of alpha which will be from 0 to 1 0 alpha value of alpha uh, value of 0 at alpha mean we are getting a at here and value of 1 here mean we are getting B here. For that we have to create a float track here. Let's have uh, alpha and let's make it two seconds. Add a key here with zero and zero. And again and a key with a time of two second and value of one here. Perfect. Mm. Now we don't need a loop here for now. So when we press a button, our character should move from the origin point to the end point. For that we have to set actor location. This will go into the location. And from there we will update the value here. So now it should work. Let's see how it goes. If I press, uh, it's not working. Let me see why it doesn't work. Uh, I haven't connected the alpha here. So let's see. Now it's perfectly fine. Now our character moves from the origin point to the contact point. Now you can say we have our grappling hook working fine. So now the next, um, now here we want the first our grappling hook cable attach and then we want to move our character from origin to that point so right now uh, 
it's moving too quickly so for that we have to make a check here and it will be for that we need to get uh, end location once again you can get from here also but uh, let's get end location and now equal uh, oh, sorry we have to use equal with some tolerance here And more here. Branch. Uh, so let's create a custom event here to indicate that we are looping. Uh, event loop grappling hook. Uh, loop uh, grappling hook now so our uh, this loop will uh, keep on working and our length of cable will keep on increasing until we reach the impact point now when we reach the impact point we will get a true from here and uh, let's check here reach impact point now Okay, we have to give some delay here of 0 0.02 here. Now, okay, great. Let's make it a value of 100 here. So it's nearly equal to that point. Okay, great. Uh, 300 here it didn't work because I took the uh, location from here so actually it has to be from here because it is our in a uh, local space value and and location is also a local space value so now when uh, the end point of our cable reach the impact point on the wall then cable will stop to increase its uh, length and after that uh, we will uh, attach the character movement logic for let's say first see now in you can see and the moment uh, cable attached we get a, a print string on here here so if you want to uh, look it more clear, clearly let's uh, create in that way so you can have a better look now our value is increasing uh, no print string the soon as a uh, end point increase we get a string here now perfectly fine now when we reach when our cable reach the end point we will put a little delay here so a uh, user can player can see that our cable really attached to the end point and after that we will move our character to that point perfectly perfect now our grappling hook is working perfectly fine so you can attach it to any end perfect and at and also also oh, uh, we have to get nearer okay one thing uh, I want to show you we have left one thing so now look here now our is uh, increased is out of the wall why because when we move our character 
our cable moves along with our character. So we have to decrease the value again to match it zero. For that, we will uh, set the value uh, here of cable. Yes. Let's cable and set and location to zero. Now, okay, and then we also hide our cable, set visibility, and let's make it bit. Now it's working perfectly fine. Now we can do one more thing. Instead of uh, making it uh, zero instantly and make it making it invisible, we can decrease the uh, uh, length of cable so it will look more better. So in the next tutorial, we will uh, decrease the end location as we start to move uh, towards the impact point so if you like the tutorial please uh, like subscribe and share and till next tutorial Allah Hafiz